Chess friends, ChatGPT is the world-renowned chess engine remarkable AI social robot. It is a free AI tool available on the internet capable of answering a vast array of questions. Today I showed my skills and brilliance against ChatGPT. Let's get started. I started the game with the F4, commonly known as the bird opening. This intriguing choice sets the stage for a middle game puzzle where pawns will become key players. In response, opponents often favor moves like d5, knight f6 or even the tactical e5 maneuver. Let me show you the variation, take and it's not queen h4 check because white can block it, black will sacrifice the d-pawn. After playing some source of standard moves black will play castle rook to e8, white's move to e3 may prove to be problematic as it opens the door for potential threats. Black can respond aggressively by advancing the knight to g4. Putting pressure on the exposed e3 square and potentially aligning the rook's path, white counters with queen to d3 to safeguard their position, in a surprising twist, black opts for the unorthodox knight to c6, with intentions of unleashing the knight to b4, targeting both the queen and the vulnerable c2 pawn, if white's queen retreats to d1, black can seize the opportunity to sacrifice the rook by capturing the c2 pawn, this intricate sequence promises a complex and engaging battle on the board so a3 to protect it, but there is daring move bishop takes pawn, sacrificing the bishop, in this comical chess dance, black plays a sneaky queen move to h4, putting the white king in a real pickle, that king can't scoot to d1 because of a knight waiting to high five it on f2 and going to d2 would be a rookie mistake as the rook on e8, has grand plans for capturing on e3, threatening an instant checkmate, so white reluctantly moves to e2, but wait there's more. Black in a fit of generosity, sacrifices a bishop on f5, swooping in with the knight on d4 to serve up a double trouble fork, white's king is left hanging out to dry, and the game is basically over, leaving us all to wonder if the king should have stayed in bed that day, so back to the position, chat played d5, knight f3 bishop g4, we show knight e5 tactic by Magnus yesterday, but this move is not applicable for this position because I have no extra piece to create some problems. So we have e3 and some natural developing moves, c4, if black capture the pawn then simply capture back the pawn with bishop, there is no issue with it, develop your pieces naturally, but in our actual game chat gpt played bishop e7, both side played castle, here I shows my brilliance by boldly pushing my h pawn, chat gpt could have opted to capture my knight, granting me the coveted diagonal advantage and setting the stage for e4 square by doing center pawn exchanges. Chat GPT made a strategic move by placing their bishop on f5, this opened the door for me to play g4, forming a solid pawn structure and setting the stage for knight to e5, rook file utilization. And a fierce kingside pawn storm, with this setup I could potentially involve my queen on the kingside to mount a powerful attack against chat GPT's position, so after bishop g6 center pawn exchanges we have knight c3. In a twist of events, Chat GPT decided to dodge the peaceful knight exchange and opted for knight to c6, with a flourish I advanced my queen side, dropping my rook on c1 like a boss to claim the open file. But instead of going for the top engine moves like capturing my knight or playing f6, he declared a full-blown pawn war with the audacious h4 move, if you capture the pawn then after takes, your g file will open, black will capture the pawn, pawn takes knight bishop takes knight, takes then black will capture the pawn with a check and will target to the bishop two two pieces, king position and the structure will be very bad for you, so back to the position, we have rook f2. Now you can't take the pawn because of rook h2 queen f1 queen h3, it will make serious problem in the h file, so we have queen d7 knight exchanges on center, to activate the bishop on c4 square, queen backs rook h2, my strategy is to play queen e2 bishop c3, push the pawn army to do fight, d5 rook g2, attacking the g7 pawn where the bishop and rook will be lined up, if black plays f6 to block the diagonal then push the d pawn with a discover check, therefore the knight will be crazy to create troubles for white king, bishop takes knight then after pawn takes bishop, queen will arrive on h file to give checkmate, so chat gpt responded with rook e8, bishop e4 is coming, so after some pieces dances on chessboard, we have bishop c2, I exchanged the bishops to weaken the light square, and you still can't take the pawn because it will help me to use the file for my rook with queen attack. Therefore you may play g6 but we will push the g pawn with a threat, 
Bishop e7 then we will push the d-pawn, to check mate check gpt in h8 square where the rook and bishop are lined up, for that reason we have queen d5, e4 queen d7 e5, he played queen d5 again, so after few moves later, I opened up the file with g takes pawn, if you play an ordinary move for example rook c8, then we will push the h pawn, g6 then we will sacrifice the rook on g6, take take and it will be a simple checkmate on g7. So back to the position, we have king h8, I want to slide my king to double up my rooks, potato chat played f5, this f5 move created a weakness on g6, bishop backs queen f2, I want to play queen g3, h6, takes then rook g8 check queen g6 mate, so knight e7 but I didn't care for it, I sacrificed the rook, if you dare to capture the rook, let me show you the variation, h takes g6 and the queen want to come on h4, how will you protect the checkmate her, huh? so subscribe the channel and you will be invincible. We have c5 queen h4, if you capture the pawn then h6 will arrive to destroy your king, king g8 can't be possible because of h7 check, king h8 then knight f7 will be literary mate, lol. So in this position, if you play a 200 elo move, singing dame dame, dame na o, oh, then after two moves later it will be a checkmate anyway, so back to the position, chat gpt played knight g8 to protect that square, rook d7 may come so we have h6, checkmate is invincible so black has to take the pawn, knight h7 check, king can't run there because I will win up the knight, so after king h7 queen h5, I am threatening to play rook g5 queen g6 check, king there then knight takes knight check. So we have rook e7, king to h2, if you capture the knight then rook g1 will arrive, rook d7, but that will no effect to my pieces because my pieces are in the right combination to deliver checkmate on g7 square, brutal checkmate, so back to the position, we have queen c4, knight takes knight, another brilliant move, if pawn captures it, then it will be the same type of checkmate as we discussed in the previous variation, so in this position, you cannot take the rook, because of knight g4 check. King run away knight f6 check, king f7 rook h6 check, and it will be checkmate, game will be over so back to the position, chat gpt decided to sacrifice his queen on e2, to gain the rook on g6 by the king, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.